hi guys welcome to my channel booms Be beauty my name is juliana if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so today i'm going to be trying five products from charlotte tilbury i have never used anything from charlotte tilbury nothing at all not nothing nothing at all i don't even know what the products are like i don't know what her prices were like until i decided to buy those products and the reason why i'm getting them is because feel unique a makeup selling site in the uk they gave me 20 percent off for my birthday as a birthday gift which they usually do every year so this time around i decided to try my 20 percent on charlotte silbury's products since i didn't get any perfume for myself if you did watch my birthday haul as i mentioned that i didn't get any perfume and i still didn't so i decided to purchase charlotte tilbury so I got five products like mentioned so I got um, a bronzer that's the packaging and this is the inside of the bronzer so this is one of the products we're gonna be trying today I also got a face powder so this is the hairbrush flawless and um, finish powder I got some foundation then I also got the Hollywood flawless filter youth glow primer this is like um kind of in between if you have like perfect skin you could get away with using this as a foundation it, it will serve as a primer and foundation at the same time but for someone like me no i don't have nowhere near perfect skin so for me this is just a primer and then lastly i got the setting spray so this is the hairbrush flawless setting spray and is what i have on under my normal um setting spray as you will see in the video all of this will be demoed in the video now just to warn you the way i do my base is not for everybody i do my base to get a flawless finish so what you're about to see might be a shock just i just thought i would warn you but the way i set my skin i set it in such a way that it gives my foundation a an even base almost like my skin is perfect that's the way i will prime so i'll prime to cover my pores to cover anything really um to prevent um oil like on my t-zone so i do prime my face in fact i dedicate about 10 minutes to priming my face getting it ready my eyelids my face my skin so prepare yourself for the next thing <laughs> all right if you like to know how i created this look then keep on watching yeah i know i look weird but this is the way i prime my face with every foundation it doesn't matter what it is and i'll just quickly go through what i use in priming my face right, the first thing i used with my moisturizer is the avocado oil which i featured in my last video is a dupe for the hourglass number 28 primer so i use this because um the foundation i think is mattifying but even if it's not i like to moisturize my skin and this is what i use just under my moisturizer on top of my moisturizer i went with the hourglass mineral veil i never do anything without this um, primer i always Always use this whether it's powder whether it's um, liquid foundation I would always use the mineral veil let me know if you found a dupe for this I mean a perfect dupe just like the I had um, revolution dupe for my number 28 primer so if you find a dupe for this please leave it in the comment box for me next I went in with the wet and wild matte face primer and this is what I is about three pounds it's very very cheap but it's pretty good it's not extremely mattifying but slightly it's just a little bit so i use that for all over my face then for my t-zone i use a very strong mattifying primer and this is the nyx can't stop won't stop pen um, primer so i pretty much use that on my nose right on my cheeks right here and a little bit on my forehead and definitely on my chin my chin is really oily so i use this for my t-zone and then finally i went um, for my pores so i use the urban decay optical illusion primer so literally just tap this in to kind of blur the skin and fill all those pores all those holes that's what i used and so that's always my final step but this definitely on top of my nose right on my cheeks and on my under my nose right here i have a little bit of um, pores around there so that was it oh i nearly forgot i also primed my smile line um along with my eyeballs <laughs> my lids my eyelids yeah i put this on my smile line um and then i tap a little bit on my eyelids as well because my eyelids are very oily but i don't use like a mattifying primer for that i use an eyeshadow primer and today i use the um natasha denona primer i can also use the mac paint pot but my paint pot is run out so i had to use the natasha one today i literally put these just after i've done my usual priming i put this before my color corrector just to prevent um oils from picking through my lid or my shadow creasing it does help and then for my color corrector i use the revolution cushion corrector 
in shade orange and it's a bit gross but this is what it looks like so it's got like a I want to say kind of like a foamy thing and this is what the inside looks like so the orange corrector is there you literally screw it back in every time you you need to use it just dots a little bit on the high just like that and then I blend that with my finger so that's how I prime my face every single time I have to use a liquid foundation I want to give the foundation the best chance which is why I've primed my face the same way I will prime for any foundation because I want to actually know what the performance of the foundation is and the only way I can tell is if I prime my face the same way I will prime with any other foundation I use like I said in the intro I did buy a foundation I also bought um, what is regarded as a filter so there are different shades the foundation shade I actually got was supposed to be 13.5 I think but they sent 12.5 by error but I decided not to return it because I didn't know how long it would take for them to replace it. Uh, plus, I don't want to lose my 20% um, discount that I got for it. So, um, I decided to keep it. For me, keeping it doesn't really matter because eventually after this testing, I'm going to use this foundation the same way I use my other foundations. And that's to mix all of them together in an empty jar. That's what I do. I don't particularly use a particular foundation. I just mix them all together. But before the foundation, I'm going to use the flawless filter underneath um, the foundation. I'm also going to use it over the foundation because I know the foundation is not going to be my shade. But I'm hoping this kind of counteracts it. Just so you know, this foundation, the pump, when it's new, it took like two minutes for it to come out. I don't know for whatever reason, but yeah. This is what the shade looks like. So it's quite runny. Not too runny, but I would say in the middle in terms of my experience with foundations. But it's pretty much light so that's what the foundation looks like and I'm gonna keep that on my hand while I use the filter um, foundation or whatever you call it I think it's called what's the exact name it just, just says flawless filter so this is what that looks like the flawless filter and I'm just gonna dot on one side of my face first just in case it dries very quickly I'm going in with a sponge. I always apply my makeup with sponge. I don't use brush unless it's like a powder foundation. So this is what the first application looks like. And I'm just going to do that on the other side and I'll be back. I am back. Um, I've applied the filter um, foundation on this other side and this is what my face looks like at the minute. So the filter is actually dewy. I mean, it's supposed to be a primer underneath um, the foundation because the foundation is supposed to be matte. So it's not supposed to like give it like extra coverage or anything like that. I now go in with the foundation and um, again, I'm going to do it same side by side. Like I said, it's really, really different um to my skin tone but from what i understand this um foundation actually oxidizes so i know it's going to change color but we're just going to apply it today at the end of the day is the application um like i said i'm after i am not after whether the color matches me perfectly or not but because like i said i always miss my foundation but i just want to see what it looks like on my skin so i'm going to go ahead and blend one side first So it's kind of very similar to my chest, but as you can see, I've got like two tone. The, the color of my face is different to my neck and it's different to my body. My body is very yellow, so. Alright, this is what the first coat is looking like. And as you can see, it sort of matches my chest, but I really don't like it matching anything to my chest because my neck is just too dark. So I like to have like an in-between shade, but I am going to leave this for a bit because it does oxidize and I'm going to do the second part and I'll be right back. Alright, I've applied to the whole of my face. Let's ignore the Oompa Loompa look. 
because it's not the fault of the foundation i got the wrong shade but i like the way it feels it feels absolutely amazing so this is what i would say maybe one and a half coat on my skin after the first application i just used a little dot all over my face and i kind of like um just blended that so i would say one and a half um application not two coats so what i'm gonna do is let it sit just for about a minute or so then i'm gonna go back with the filter because that's how you are meant to use it the suggestion on the bottle is to use it before the foundation and also to use it on top of the foundation for an extra coverage but i'm not gonna use it for extra coverage i'm gonna use this on top of my foundation to try and change the shade of the foundation because it's quite different um, to the shade of the foundation can you see so this is more um, suited to my face than this so I'm hoping that once I put that down just slightly to some extent at least change the change what the shade looks like okay I've gone ahead and I've applied the filter on top of the foundation the filter is kind of giving my foundation a more dewy finish which I didn't like I rather prefer how it was before I applied it on top of the foundation so next time I'll know to mix it together on my hand first before I apply my foundation I didn't buy any under high concealer or any cream bronzer so I'm gonna use what I would normally use so I use the Too Faced Bond This Way concealer and I use the Revolution um, stick foundation um, for my bronzer and I'm just gonna quickly apply that and I'll be right back Okay, I wanted to show you what the skin looks like before I set my face because again I didn't buy any um, setting powder but I did buy a face powder but not a setting powder so this is what my skin is looking like and the base is looking like after my under high concealer and my um, bronzing shade um, to kind of match um, my body really to my face that's what I try and do that color 16 kind of like acts like an in-between shade between my chest my face and everything and tries to pull it together i like to do my foundation with some um, natural lighting so until i watch this back i can't really see what it looks like but what i'm seeing in the mirror i kind of like it maybe my under eye is um quite is more highlighted than i would usually like it but i think the bronzer kind of um pulls it together and i can't see much of the oompa loompa look um at the minute from what I can see, it looks good. Yeah, so I'm gonna go set my face. Alright, this is what my skin looks like um, after setting it, um, which I did use a mattifying um, powder because my skin is oily. That's what I do. So now the next product we're gonna test is the Flawless Finish Powder. So this is what it looks like. My shade is in dark. Number four, I think it is. it says at the back. And that's what I'm going to be using as my final setting powder. This is what I would normally do. Regardless of the foundation, I will first set my face with a loose powder before I then use like a concentrated powder on top of the loose powder. And for today, I'm using like a stiff but yet fluffy brush. All I do is just stamp it on my skin just to give it an added um, layer. This is why I wasn't worried about the shade of the foundation because I know I can change it with the powder. So from what I can see, I don't think it's changing um, the color of the foundation either. It's not like making it darker or lighter or anything like that. No noticeably anyway, not that I can see. be honest it just feels like any other powder yeah um it doesn't feel any different um at the moment okay and that's the powder done so it's now time um to test the bronzer now the shade of the bronzer i got again is four deep uh, which to me kind of looks like it might be too dark so this is what the bronzer looks like but 
for me i'd rather it's too dark than too light because if it's too light it's pretty much useless it's not going to show on the skin but if it's too dark i can always blend it in with my face powder and that's what we're going to do so i'm going to go with a quite a light hand because i don't know what the impact is going to be I'm kind of like shaking it back because I've never used this before. I don't know if whether it's got fallout or anything like that. And I'm just going to place it where I would normally bronze my skin, which is the all of my cheeks. So I'm literally dabbing. And then I would put on my jaw as well. And kind of blend it down towards my neck. a little bit on my forehead as well so it doesn't look too dark to me unless I don't know what you are saying on the screen but to me it doesn't look too dark it doesn't look any different to the shade I would normally use as my face bronzer all right I've done the placement so it's time to blend now so I'm literally just gonna kind of like be stamping my brush on my skin to try and blend that shade out And once I've laid down my bronzer like that, then the next thing is to kind of blend it out into my skin with my face powder. So going back into that face powder, just going to blend my highlighter into my into the bronzer I've just placed, so that you can really see where one begins and ends. So the bit of my jaw as well blend that upwards into my skin so hopefully you can see any demarcation of highlighter bronzers or any mark because I can't really see clearly but yeah all right the last product to try out or test out is the hair brush flawless setting spray all right before i use the charlotte tilbury finishing spray i would normally use a normal setting spray to try and calm down the powder on my skin i'm just gonna do the same thing so today i'm using the skindinavia finishing bridal spray and this is one of the ones i use on my skin first before i finally set with the finishing spray like i said So what this is going to do is, it's going to set down my powder first. Okay, so this is what my face is looking like after that setting spray. So it's now time to use the shallow tip one. So I'm going to shake. I don't know whether I say shake or not. But I think it's always good to shake. So it does have a very nice smell. Nothing overwhelming, but it does have a smell. So the setting spray, it feels normal to me. It doesn't kind of like squeeze my face or anything like that. It feels like my normal setting spray. But it could be one of those that you have to give time um, to feel, I don't know, some different effect. But right now, it just feels nice and smooth. It's not changing my skin. It's not squeezing my skin. So it does feel okay. But I'm going to go finish up my face, do my eyebrows because I just look really weird. Do my eyebrows, finish up everything and I'll be right back to give you my thoughts on all the five products I've tried today. Alright guys, this is the finished look and this is what my skin is looking like. Alright, let's start with the first product I used. So I used the filter, the flawless filter um, as my base first, as the first time coat I had on my skin and I loved it I absolutely loved it um I think next time definitely I'm gonna use it as a primer I'm not gonna put it over the foundation but under the foundation absolutely beautiful it was nice it wasn't oily it wasn't too dewy because this foundation is actually I think it's mattifying not too mattifying but it is mattifying so it's actually beautiful um this flawless and filter is beautiful under the foundation so i absolutely love this as a primer then for the foundation let's ignore the fact that i got the wrong shade and um, because that's not shallow table um, fault this foundation is beautiful i've now had my face on for about 
three hours at least now because I did another video um, featuring this eye look and did some other things played about and all sorts so I've had this foundation on for at least three hours now before coming back to you for this outro and I absolutely love this foundation it's so beautiful on the skin it doesn't pull the skin tight or anything like that it just stays firm oh my when it dried when it dried it was beautiful i mean you saw it i like the fact that i didn't pull my skin tight even though it was a mattifying foundation and i think it's because of the primer and if you are going to use this and you have dry skin make sure your skin is absolutely moisturized even if you have oily skin so make sure you have a perfectly moisturized base because this i don't think it will work with a dry base I think the flawless finish it gave me was because I had quite a bit of a dewy base on and I think it works well together that way. So if you've tried it with a dry base before and you didn't like it, try it with a slightly dewy base. It's an absolute match made in heaven. So, so beautiful. Okay, moving on to the powder. Again, absolutely beautiful finish. Although if I decide to repurchase, I'm going to purchase number three because i do think um with the way my it could be because i have the wrong shade of foundation but to me it seems slightly darker than what i would normally go for or what it looked like on the foundation which again could be because i picked up a lighter shade but i would like to see what three would look like on my skin the powder doesn't dramatically change the look of your foundation it does slightly because they i mean they are quite different but i definitely want to give number three a go but in terms of finish absolutely flawless flawless finish is so 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 beautiful i definitely love the powder and then moving on to the giant bronzer <laughs> I love this i love the shade i picked i don't regret not picking three i would i would like i said earlier i would always prefer my bronzer to be darker than lighter because if it's lighter it's useless to me when it's darker i can do anything i can blend i can manipulate it um, to work for me and this worked beautifully again melting on the skin you saw me applying it there was no skipping nothing it just kind of lay down on the skin and runs my face perfectly i loved it i loved it and i definitely love the shade as well it's kind of in between a contour shade and a my typical shade of bronzer i'll show you my typical shade of bronzer all right this is the bronzer i would normally use and um, this is from beauty bay by the way um, i'm actually glad to got the pan of making in this and i'm gonna just wash it on my hand and compare to the um charlotte tilbury bronzer so this is the typical bronzer i use it's reddish and i like it that way it's easier for me to manipulate and blend into my skin that way and this is the charlotte tilbury next to it so you see it's less reddish so it's like darkish is more it's more like in between um a perfect bronzer and a perfect contour shade for me which is why i like it so again bringing my hand closer this is as you can see this is very reddish and this is like a more i want to say chocolatey so i absolutely love this bronzer absolutely beautiful i loved it um i have no cause for complaints and then finally for the setting spray again i love this i'm yet to determine if it's mattifying or not i know i use um a dewy base um for my skin but for me this is a mattifying so it's absolutely beautiful is in and it's not dewy as well so it's kind of like in between it just kind of set my skin and it set it perfectly it wasn't pulling or anything and i don't i don't think it's mattifying because if you have used i have mattifying um, setting spray and they would kind of like give like a tout look almost like a facelift and this didn't do that this just set my skin and it just set it in place which honestly i have to say i'm pleasantly surprised by all the products i used i mean i never tried that because i just think it's too expensive while i was shopping for all this i even tried to get like an eyeshadow just so i can do more, more or less like a full face of shallow tapery but the price for four shades they are not they are not out of this world i i just couldn't i mean but all of the five products i tried they were absolutely flawless would i repurchase them it's not going to be out of performance it's going to be more on the price i mean if i get a good deal yes i would definitely replace at least four of these products 
so replacing them is not going to be because they didn't perform well it's going to be because of price which is why i've never bought them in the first place i just think they are pricey <laughs> i just think they are pricey um so but for me they performed well they are very well worth the money it's not just a hype honestly they are beautiful products okay that's the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me and um demoing these same products please let me know if you like this kind of um videos because this is actually the first time i've had my face on on this channel um i usually come already with my face made up so if you like this kind of video please let me know i would love to know your feedback whatever it is that you feel about today's video so if you've enjoyed this video please like it share it and subscribe to my channel and until next time i'll see you